Hello and welcome to Manicast. My name is Manicast. This is Some days ago I made a video, is JC Trends an Instagram scam? The answer in the final video was yes. The reason why I talk about this video is yesterday evening I got a comment on this video. You racist. For the people to know what the reality is. You are doing this just to get famous. And I'm always super excited if I get comments because I usually don't. I love every comment of you guys and I love reading them. I love answering them. So I was super excited and I clicked on this comment. And this comment is from Mark Gakuma. I don't know if Mark is a common girl's name, but it looks pretty much like a girl to me. I don't want to force anyone into any gender, but usually in Germany, girls don't have the name Mark. I don't know, please, uh, let me know if you have other experiences. Hey, just across to your video, just to let you know, I am the influencer. I received the items and they are good. You're probably making this just to get famous. I immediately responded, oh, I'm sorry, my bad, I'm gonna delete this video. I was blind to not trust a random person on the internet with no proof but their word. You changed my view on them. Thank you. And Mark answered me, it's fine, man. I used two, but since I received my items, I'm fine with it. So I hit <laughs> him, I hit him, her with the big iron E and somehow she's immune against it. <laughs> so I got a second comment and I got the notification from YouTube. And as soon as I clicked on this comment, this showed up. I promise you, this is honestly what happened. I clicked on this comment and it popped out. Dieser Kommentar ist nicht mehr verfügbar. This comment isn't available anymore. And all I can see from this comment is, hello guys, this guy is just making this video, not for, I can't read more, I'm really sorry. And I promise you, <laughs> you have nothing but my word, I didn't delete this comment. And I'm pretty sure I wouldn't have this notification anymore if I had deleted this comment. YouTube auto deleted this comment because it somehow violated YouTube guidelines. But, Aldrin Padilla uh, was kind enough to make a second comment. Don't delete my comments for the people to know what the reality is. Your comment was auto deleted from YouTube as spam. I couldn't even read it. Let the people know the truth. And somehow he got angry. How will they know if you don't have enough evidence and proof to provide? You are doing this just to get famous. First of all, I want to say I don't make YouTube videos to get famous. Actually, I don't want to be famous. I just want to make some people laugh and I make it because I really like making them. I do it for the YouTube money. Actually, I wanted to add a shot where I take a line of flour, but I'm too broke. I can't afford to waste so much flour. So I told him, okay, I will prove it tomorrow at 16.30. I will upload a new video about your comments. I really look forward to you watching it. If you don't want to miss it, please consider to subscribe. So if you're watching, hi, I did it. And yeah, I, that's the actual proof I have. I didn't delete your comment. Uh, it was auto deleted. That's the proof. I'm sorry. Look at this. It's there, but I can't read it. So you might think, is the story over? No, oh, it gets so much better, so much, with spices and everything. You're gonna love this. And tell you, you're gonna love how this story turns out. Let me just say another thing about JC Trends. I called it a scam, but I never said you won't receive your items, as some of these comments say. You will receive your items. I never doubted it. What I said is, those items are so low quality, and the shipping fee they charge you is higher than the actual shipping fee, probably. Probably, I said probably higher than the actual shipping fee. And they make like $5 from that shipping fee from you. And the items only cost like $1, $2. They are mass cheap produced and that's how they will make money. Because to clarify one thing, no one in this world will ever give you something for free, except maybe your parents and grandparents. Not even your siblings will give you something for free. Everyone who has siblings, you know it's true. Companies will never, never give you anything for free. 
Why am I making this video? Because I want to make a video, I want to have an audience. I want to be famous. Why do big companies search for influencers? Because they want their reach. And I have 200 subscribers and they said they have 16,000 subscribers. So with 16,000 subscribers on Instagram, you should minimum make 200 subscribers daily. So they don't need my help. So what do they want from me? Why would they gift anything to me? Because they want my money. Plus, I will advertise them while I'm paying them. That's the system, that's how it works. They will ship you anything and you will pay them to advertise them. I don't think any big influencer had ever to pay a shipping fee for items they should promote. How do you think the CR7 series at Nike came? Cristiano Ronaldo, here's the CEO of Nike and we have a big announcement. We have big plans and this project, it will be great. It will be the best project ever. We want shoes with your name on it. Every Nike shoe, CR7. You will get your own design shoe that only you will have for every new game. Only thing is you have to pay the shipping fee. Is it, is it okay for you? I'm really short right now. I can't afford to give you the shipping fee. I just wanna to make sure it's serious with you. No, Nike wants Cristiano Ronaldo because he has the influence, he has the audience. If Cristiano Ronaldo had, was wearing Nike, every Sunday league player wanna have Nike shoes because they're gonna play like Cristiano Ronaldo. And let's actually go again on Instagram at JC Trends. And let's click on the newest picture. It's three days old and has nine likes from 16,000 followers. Nine people click like on a picture. If I follow a page, I'm actually interested in it. I don't know how you use Instagram, but if I'm not inter interested in their content, I won't follow a page. I will probably hit like on the pages I follow. Let's see who this little woman is. I found her post, that's the exact same post, and on her profile, it has 185 likes. When JC Trent uh, reached out to me, they said I will have a huge shout out on their page with 16,000 followers. That's not really a, what a shout out means when she has on her own profile more likes than on your profile. What will you get? From the nine likes, maybe one person clicks on this profile, she will get one follower. To check if she has anything JC Trans related, I don't see any necklace. I don't see any jewelry on her. I Not even in the background. I see any jewelry that looks like the thing that JC Trent promotes. And in the description, in the comments, there's nothing. Nothing that is anyhow JC Trent related. And I found this woman. She has 10 likes on JC Trent. She has 1000 uh, followers on her own page. And this is the picture JC Trent used on their site. Today is the World Smile Day. There are thousands of children around the world living with untreated clefts. This can cause various issues like difficulty eating, speaking, hearing and breathing. And SmileTrain is a non-profit organization dedicated to providing safe corrective surgeries for these children. You can't find anything JC Trends related on her profile as well. You can see she's wearing a necklace. We will go to JC Trends and look if we find this necklace. As you probably guessed right, you won't find it. Um, I don't know if that's too fast for you but Okay, it's not there. Those people you see on JC Trends probably haven't even been asked if they want to be promoted on JC Trends and probably they don't even know they promote JC Trends. This woman makes a post for a charity organization and in the same post she's promoting JC Trends. I don't think so. Today, this morning, I got another comment under this video. I will get my items and yeah, they are not scam dude. Watch your videos, you just want attention. I don't think that any one of them has watched my videos because I never said you won't get the item. I would wish I could say this is the end of the story, but it isn't. Yesterday evening, not even 10 minutes after I got these comments, I got another DM on Instagram from DP Lay. Your time is keep running, why not try count it down using your Daniel Philip watch? And if you want to know what happened with Daniel Philip watch and why I think those two companies are related to each other, make sure you check out tomorrow's video because I will end this video today. Otherwise it will get too long. So if you watched this video till now, thank you very much. Please consider to subscribe if you like my content and I hope I can see you tomorrow. Bye bye. <laughs> see ya.